Hi everybody, today I have my April monthly plan with me. I've not done one of these yet so I thought I'd try it. I'm using the Easter Bunny kit from Your World of Colour. I do PR for Your World of Colour so there will be a discount below. Carly's lovely, she changed the Ellen Condren kit into a recollections kit for me because um, she has the sizes um, if you leave a message in the notes to sell her I'm sure she'd change it for you as well this is the third time filming this intro I have the kids off from school because obviously it's the two weeks Easter holiday the dog's making noise so I apologise for any background noise one daughter is currently watching YouTube or playing a game on her laptop the dog is messing around and the other daughter is playing upstairs so I do apologise for any noise um, if you're already subscribed thank you and hello again if you're new I'm Karen and I make planner related videos I've also started doing a few lifestyle ones I've had done a Poundland haul um, so please subscribe, we'd love to have you here on the channel, uh, don't forget to like, um, leave me a comment if you wish, uh, click the bell so you get notified every time I upload because YouTube does sometimes like hiding our videos. So I will get into this, I don't know if I'm going to do a voiceover while I'm doing this, um, so if I do, you will hear me in a few seconds. If not, I will see you in my next one. Bye. down so what I'm going to do to make it easier is I'm going to do the one side of the month and then do the other side so I'm going to flip backwards and forwards so I've got all my character stickers that I want to use ready so we are going to start and the first day I can place anything down on is 
for the fifth I realised I was on the wrong side so I place these tablet stickers from Your World of Colour to mark that I need to order my partner's prescription. I also take a payday sticker and a rent due sticker. The payday stickers are from Peaceful Mind Designs and the build due is from Your World of Colour. There's not much I can fill in on my month beforehand apart from bills and stuff that's already been planned. Um, I just end up filling it in throughout the month. I then go in with a wheelie bin sticker to mark what so then I can mark which bins need to go out. I then move on to the 11th and put another payday sticker as well as a loan due and a rent due sticker. I will show this spread again at the end of the month when I do my April thrip th flip through to show you or back through all the spreads. It probably will be a bit more filled up. I think there's not many plans this month because I do have both my daughter's birthdays at the end of the month so I haven't got too many plans set in plus the first two weeks the girls are off school so then move on to the 13th I don't have a number sticker because I couldn't peel it up off the sheet so where the number's supposed to be, I stick my Netflix bill due sticker as well as another wheelie bin sticker so then I can mark which bin goes out. Here I also decide to stick the wheelie bin down on all the other Fridays in the month. I then move on to the 16th and I mark it with a Coffee Monsters Co couple sticker. Now these in her shop are called the lesbian couples because they're two girls. I use them to mark when I have anything down that the girls need to do together. So I used one of those to mark back to school. I then move on to the 19th and place another payday sticker and rent due sticker. Do you have any exciting plans for this month? Please put them in the comments. Then move on to the 24th and use a Peaceful Mind Design character sticker. Looks like he has a sheet of paper in front of him. I use this to mark that my eldest has after school vision on this day. Then on to the 26th I use a Coffee Monsters Co music sticker to mark that my eldest has after school music class. She plays the the violin and my youngest plays the flute um, that's the spread done I will fill it in and get back to you this is what the month looks like for now I will place more things down as they come up through the month I'm using the sidebar to mark shops I've ordered from and then when they're, I have received them don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Because I was doing my monthly plan with me, I thought I'd do a flip through and go back through all my spreads from March. This was how my March monthly turned out. Quite sure this might have been a Lucinda Charlotte kit. It's either Lucinda Charlotte or Harriet Wright designs, one of the two. So that's how my March monthly turned out. 
this was February the 26th till the 4th of March. This is the XOXO kit from Lucinda Charlotte Designs. I love all the pink in this and how she bought it in the darker colours as well. It's a really nice kit. Sunday was blank because when I was filling this out I didn't know what I wanted to put in and it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to. I was still feeling a bit down as you can see. I had a funeral on the Wednesday. I wasn't really into doing this kit which is a shame because it's a lovely kit but because I ordered some misfit grab bags I do have a sheet of these deco boxes which I have put away and I could most probably do this spread again next year and make it better. Next we have the week beginning the 5th of March this is the spring picnic kit also from Lucinda Charlotte Designs. This is made up from pieces from Misfit Grab Bags. That is why I have no bottom washi, but I thought this washi would go really well. I like how this turned out. This is when I started getting into my YouTube more and marking it in my planner. I think this page turned out really well and made me really excited for spring to come. Another gorgeous spread. This is the storybook kit from Kelsabeth Plans. Um, not much went on this week. I started a new PR group the week before but I had to cancel. I can only keep up with the two at the moment. Um, I did tell the seller in the future. I will apply again if she looks for some more. But at the moment I will just stick to the two that I PR for. Um, not much ha else happened this week. It was St. Patrick's Day week. Don't really like doing spreads for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not one for having full green on my spread but I did mark it with one of my plump planner stickers um, not much more I can say for this week this week is the 19th of March to the 25th of March this is the birthday surprise oodle from oodle madoodles reason for the birthday surprise kit is because it was my birthday on the 21st um, so this isn't filled out as much as I'd like it to be either but not much went on this week well not much I could write in my planner anyway because Wednesday I went out went to see my granddad so nothing happened much Wednesday um, my youngest had a trip on the 23rd she went to Concord College in Shrewsbury. Um, both girls had music concerts. I went to um, see my youngest play her flute on the 19th. Uh, 22nd, I went to see my eldest play her violin. And oh, my eldest also went to a reborn doll convention with my mum. So she bought some bits for her reborn doll Harper. She also asking Santa this year for another reborn doll. She would like a little brother for Harper. So we'll just have to see if Santa can do that for her. Also the clocks went forward. Sorry, I have a bit of the sniffles. Um, yes, so we missed an hour sleep because I was up watching YouTube. I actually watched the time miss an hour from 12.59 to 2 o'clock. I watched it skip the hour of 1 o'clock. Um, last spread for March. This is Easter week uh, 26th to the 1st of April. 
sorry I have to turn the page just to see the date as you can see I used some foil stickers from Diamond Prints Design I think that's what a shop's called I know it's Diamond something um, I will have it linked below for you because these are lovely foil stickers this is the Easter Parade kit from the Prompt Planner Double box from Lucinda Charlotte. Washi is from Wendy Prints because Plump Planner only certain kits come with washi, but I don't mind that. It means that make use of washi I've had in Misfit grab bags or my actual washi that is all stuck in a box and hardly gets used. So this was Easter week, quite a lot going on. I've had to film quite a few videos with the girls being off for two weeks. It's quite hard to film when I've got them running around the house. So I have to stock up on my videos. So then all I have to do is edit them, which I can do when they're in bed. Or have to film when they are quietly eating their breakfast, like I am now. So that's the last spread for March. We're now in April and a lot of things to do. Busy, busy in April because of it being the girls' birthdays at the end of the month. So might be on a no spend for stickers and don't know how many we will get into the monthly Etsy haul. But we'll see how things go. There are, I do have a basket full of stuff that I want to purchase. Won't obviously won't be purchasing at all this month, but there are some I want do want to purchase this month, and hopefully they will come before May, so I can put them in a haul. But other than that, I hope you've liked this. Um, if you like me doing my flip throughs in my monthly, then please let me know. I think it's nice to look back on. The spreads that we've done i think i am due to do a six month one i will double check and then when it's up it is up um thanks for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe click the like button uh, hit the bell if you haven't because sometimes youtube likes hiding people's videos so then you will know when i've uploaded or follow me on social media I do post regularly on there and let you know when a video is going to be up so I will see you in my next one bye